Royal Highness, Excellencies, distinguished participants, dear colleagues. I am pleased to welcome all of you in Riga and address the participants of the Digital Assembly co-organized by the Latvian Presidency and the European Commission. This event is held in the premises of the Latvian National Library. We hold, call this library the Castle of Light, connected by high-speed internet links with more than 800 libraries through, throughout Latvia. Our Castle of Light keeps and safeguards knowledge and information. It is a symbol of information and a knowledge society. Ladies and gentlemen, today representatives from all over the Europe meet here to share their views on how to achieve a common digital market, a single market. Of course, the digital single market itself is not the final goal. The fi uh, final goal of any policy is to make life better for our people. Hence, the challenge is to put the right policies in place to build a better Europe in digital age. This is an approach which shaped the agenda for the Latvian presidency of the Council. Our three themes, competitive, digital and engaged Europe, are built around delivering real benefits for people. Competitive Europe for the Latvian presidency means focusing on jobs, growth and investment. Digital Europe means to help businesses and consumers to trans transform Europe into the world's leading knowledge-based economy. Engaged Europe for us means to deliver security and prosperity for Europe and our neighbors. And the concept of digital single market ties these aspects together since it is at most precondition to the competitive Europe and it can only be achieved if everybody is engaged. Ladies and gentlemen, Digital Assembly is a culmination of Latvia's digital presidency. There are two more weeks to go and we will continue to work with passion and dedication until the last minute of our presidency. But already now, we can be proud of results achieved. Let me mention some. On connected continent regulation, we are very close to reaching the final compromise, which will put and grooming surcharges and introduce the first open internet rules for the whole European Union. Likewise, we expect the next trilogue to be the final one on Network Information Security Directive. It will establish legal basis for cooperation between member states in cybersecurity. And we have reached a general approach on the data protection regulation. It will establish common principles for legal, justified and transparent data processing within EU. The Presidency had invested significant efforts to finalize this, the discussion in the Council, what have been ongoing for almost three and a half years. Ladies and gentlemen, it is not only legislation that will bring us to digital Europe. We have to embrace digital mindset. Therefore, Latvian Presidency is a strong supporter of the digital by default principle. It requires digital transformation of every sector and, sector and policy area, area. And it requires digital thinking within minds of each political leader, employer and civil servant. We will not reach a truly digital Europe without digital transformation of the economy. In doing so, we should not be afraid of changes. On the contrary, Europe should lead the digital transformation. It is the only way to stay competitive on the global scale. 
We tend to protect our traditional businesses against the new business models, such as, uh, such as sharing economy, but protection will only make our companies weaker and more, more vulnerable against, against global competition. Instead, we should spend more energy on creating the right conditions for the growth of European digital startup companies and for innovative ways to apply digital technologies to sectors where Europe has traditionally been strong. If we manage to do so, Europe will, once again, be the world's leading knowledge-based economy and be the place where most innovations are born. Ladies and gentlemen, but first we must overcome digital fragmentation in Europe. G digital single market is about removing barriers which do not allow us to fully exploit the great potential of European consumer market, the biggest consumer market in the world. Therefore, I would like to express my appreciation to the European Commission and personally to Vice President Ansip, sorry <laughs> that is, he is not here, and Commissioner Ottinger for the timely release of the digital single market strategy and express my confidence that it will give new impetus to rapid completion of the digital single market. Since its publication in the 6th of May, Latvian Presidency has arranged ministerial debates on the strategy in several council formations. The feedback received from ministers clearly shows broad support to the digital single market strategy. It is seen as a good instrument to facilitate completion of the digital single market. But the publication of the strategy is just the beginning. The swift advice implementation of it will be the key of our success. We have to be wise, especially regarding regulation. Our, our life changes at much faster pace than legislation. It calls for future proof and flexible regulation because fixed rules can be counterproductive. The implementation of the strategy will not be easy. Referring to Vice President Ansip, it will be an uphill struggle. To be successful in this struggle, leadership is the key. Europe and each member state need leaders who are truly interested in Europe's digital transformation and who are determined to bring forward the necessary changes. Another precondition for the effective implementation of the strategy is good coordination, both within each member state, between member states, and between the Council and the, the Commission. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that Assembly will provide the opportunity for inclusive, future-oriented discussions on the development of the digital single market. Member States, EU institutions, academia, industry and citizens' representatives should participate in order to bring the digital single market to the level of, of ambition needed to respond to the existing economic and social challenges. It is the mid of June, a few days before Latvia's most important national holiday, midsummer uh, celebrations named Ligua, shortest night and the longest day. According to the tradition, the light must be not fade at night. Therefore, Latvians burn fires and sing from sunset till next morning to acquire power and fertility and God's blessing so that we have good harvest from the seeds sown in spring. Hence, it is a good time to celebrate a new beginning based on stable foundation. The publication of the digital single market strategy 
in its broad sense, can be compared with the seed sown and the digital assembly, the celebration to expect for good harvest. I wish us all productive and fruitful discussions and nice stay in the Riga. Best wishes to everybody. Thank you.